good morning, Mayor. Good morning. How are you doing over there in uh, Santa Rita? So far, so good. Uh, Mayor, we, we just wanted to uh, touch base with you because uh, obviously you're neighbors with uh, Naval Base Guam. Uh, what have you heard about the Theodore Roosevelt and the quarantine measures that are uh, being uh, done, uh, hopefully inside the fence line? Well, so far what I've been hearing is uh, there's some rumors saying that they are quarantining the sailors at that old uh, Baku school. And I passed by there, but I haven't seen any kind of activity. But then some say it's with its traffic up there, that's because they're getting in line to pick up their lunch at Southern High. But so far, I don't know anything uh, what's going on. I haven't been informed. And uh, are you normally informed by the Admiral and the Naval Base uh, Mayor when they're doing something that, uh, you know, involves the village? Well, not the Admiral, but the, the CEO of Naval Station, or uh, they, they informed me what's, what's happening or what's going on or what they're going to do. But I haven't been informed about this uh, virus yet. Okay, and so uh, I told you we saw a Facebook post about uh, McCool. Uh, you know, there's just so much information out there that people just skeet out information all the time. Uh, but you said you drove by the old McCool school and you didn't see any uh, type of activity. Are you able to see the whole area from the main road there, Mayor? No, just the, well, just the front side. Yeah, uh, I can see it. Of course, if there's anything going on, there'll be a lot of cars in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, when Patty called me in the weekend, I drove by that same day, but I, I haven't. I didn't see anything. But, sorry, uh, Sabrina. I called you over the weekend. I mean, I'm sorry, not Patty. Yeah, Sabrina. <laughs> yes, Sabrina. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you didn't see anything at all? Okay. No, I, I went out there. I saw a couple of cars, but uh, they, you know, look, look like they're just uh, checking the place out or what. But they were. What's in heavy traffic? Well, right Mayor, there? they're, they're, they're going to have to quarantine 5,000 some sailors. I, I think they're already in the process. Uh, we're, we saw a letter from uh, the captain of the Roosevelt uh, that says they're being housed in a gym on Naval Base Guam in Cots. That, that's what uh, you know, I inquired last night. We were talking. You know, My son-in-law told me that, uh, and, and even my daughter told me, yes, they're being quarantined on, on the shore on the sea, uh, by the ship. And those that don't have are affected are up at the gym, but uh, they, they said they're not supposed to be out of base. That's what they've been hearing. They're supposed to be pier side, right? That's right. At least the that's what we, we yeah that's we what, were told. That's that what we're, we're that's what the governor told us. That the admiral mm -hmm. told her was that the uh, they were gonna they parked at the farthest dock, and that they were gonna remain pier side. Obviously, that's not even that's the case. Exactly. Yes, yeah. that's my understanding. Mayor, how do you feel though? You know, five thousand sailors. Uh, Are that... any of them from Santa Rita? I'm sorry. Are any of the sailors aboard the USS uh, Roosevelt? Are any of them San from Santa Rita? Not that, not that I know of. I've, I've been reading the papers and I see the Chamorro families and mm -hmm. things like that, but I, I haven't. Uh, I mean, I don't recognize anybody, and not that I know of. How, how would you feel, though, Mayor, if uh, we got to do things where they can't fit all the sailors, uh, you know, treat them all on uh, Naval Base Guam, and they're going to start to maybe, I mean, use some of the facilities they have outside the base? Are you okay with that? Uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I, I wish I could help them and everything, but uh, I really don't want them on, I mean, I don't want it in my village, you know, because, of course, I want to take care of my people. I, I, for me, I'm just, I just feel like, you know, there, and I think we were talking about this in the break that, you know, they may be sailors and they may be in the military, but they're also human beings. And I think right. people should remember that. Yeah. Um, and if they're all lumped into a gym, that obviously is not. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, on the military, though. I mean, they don't know yeah. how to mitigate and control this situation. They're exposing these sailors. Uh, I mean, the guidelines are very clear. We practically know them by heart. Mm -hmm. So I've, 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 you're right. They are humans. It's so unfortunate that the. I just don't. I mean, I, mean I, I don't know. Are they going to be? Do they have accommodation to fit four thousand, uh, four thousand five thousand sailors on base in separate um, rooms? Because you're on quarantine. I mean, well, that's not happening because the captain of the boat has said that they're in a gym and cots, mm -hmm. and we don't know if it's a uh, four thousand five. How many? 
of them are there mm-hmm. so you know i hope today during this press conference the governor will provide some answers maybe she's had conversations as she has every single day with admiral minoni and the, the commander of Paycom, anderson air force <laughs> base everybody and, and find out i just don't think that they're going to have to they're going to stay on base right yeah the mayor so that they're going to stay on base and mm-hmm. they're not going to be out and of 20 of these people have family from guam are originally from here so <laughs> just be transparent right mayor have you heard of any uh covid19 positive patients uh in your village while i got you here on the line no i haven't chris and that's why a lot of mayors in our chat who are you know asking if they could at least name the villages so that you know we could be able to look out i mean it'd be nice if we know who they are so we could you know really uh take care of the uh, first i mean i can't heal them but you know, isolate them more where it won't spread to on, uh, my, on my village. Right. Mm-hmm. So nobody in your village that may be COVID positive has even reached out. I know um, Mayor Savaris was telling us yesterday that there are two people uh, that are on isolation, COVID positive, that have reached out to her, asking her if, if it comes to a situation where she or he, whoever the positive patient is, needs food, will somebody be able to help this person? And, you know, she said yes. So nobody in your village who is positive has reached out to you not nobody no, no uh, we are delivering every day to our uh uh right up good at uh, their food and home bonds you know people that can't get out how are they feeling mayor uh you know i know the santa rita got a lot of monomco you know the southern strong mm-hmm. how are I they feeling what are, what are they saying to you mayor but honestly i mean you know they they're okay i'm reading facebook they're bored you know they want to play bingo things <laughs> like that you know but and david asking me if they you can play. do that on zoom <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, david uh south are asking if you know if i can open up just for uh, bingo oh, I can, oh, yeah. no no uh, no no no, aye, no. Aye, aye. but you know i mean they understand i guess they just want to joke with me or what but you know uh i know they're bored yeah but you know what can we do and we're and I'm taking extra precaution when my pe- people are going out, my staff going out to deliver. They're following all the procedures, you know, masks, gloves, things like that, and just hand it to them on the door or hang it on their door. But you know, they so far they're not. Uh, not that I know that they're they're not sick, you know. Right. Well, that's good, Mary. You keep it uh, in touch with them. You know, we had nine uh, more positive cases last night, and you know, uh, sadly, a death of a 79 year old man. So. Uh, and talking to Dr. Cabrera, who's on the Governor's Physician, uh, Physicians Advisory Board, um, they're saying that we're three three weeks behind what's going on in New York. So you, I know you read the news, you go on the internet, you look at what's happening in New York. Uh, that's really eye opening. I'm kind of freaking out. Yeah, me too. And uh, I hope it. I really hope and pray that we don't really happen here. But uh, what can we do? Yeah, well, well, there you go. Light a candle there. You can stay home, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, practice social distancing, and social isolation. Yes, ma'am, but we're doing all that. (laughs) Do it some more. I don't know. (laughs) Do it harder, Mayor. (laughs) Yeah, my my hands already feel so clean that I think they're peeling. (laughs) Mayor, I was just going to say, side effect COVID-19 times, I got lizard hands now because we keep (laughs) hand sanitizer. (laughs) Okay, Mayor. Hey, thank you, Chris. Okay. Of course. Okay, All bye. Right. There you go. Uh, Mayor Dale Alvarez, man. Yeah, I love Mayor Dale. You know, yes, ma'am. Already, ma'am. Yeah, already. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm like, I'm kind of...